Right, shalom, shalom. This is brother number one coming to you with another lesson. All for the spirit of Yahweh Shami Yahweh Begin this by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makaha Kodash. As always, giving double honors to our elders and uh, to our apostles, I should say first, and our elder bishops, the great millstone, who rule well. Peace. And blessings to the brothers out there, the elect, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. And also blessings upon the, the great multitude destined for salvation along with the elect. So I just wanted to do a lesson regarding, um, you know, just looking out for the poor of our people, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Because sometimes... You can hear certain men, and this is not, um, there's no one in my mind when I'm saying this, but I've, I've heard certain things about, you know, the, <clears throat> you know, the rest of our people that don't have, that haven't been chosen for the knowledge, man. But, you know, doesn't mean you can't. You know, do you have, you have, there's levels of, of of our people when it comes to wickedness in this kingdom, man. You know, there's the downtrodden, man. There's the there's the. Um, the the, the the what's it the, the sottish of our people that don't know any better, and then this you know, we have wickedness in our people, man. They they're just outright wicked people in our nation, man. I ain't talking about them. You know, but you know I try. It's all through the spirit at the end of the day, man. I, I'm not saying every time, uh, uh, an Israelite on the street, a homeless Israelite, a homeless Jake asks asks me for some money, I just pull my wallet out. I'm, I'm not saying that. Because it's the spirit that works, that compels you to do these things. But, you know, we're compassionate people, man. You can tell that by the Jakes in the world, why they always want to forgive their oppressors and forgive the people that do them wrong, man. And that, and that comes from um, poor teachings in the churches as well, but when it comes to turning the other cheek, because that turning the other cheek, uh, involves our people of our nation, not the, not our enemies, man. We don't turn cheeks on our enemies, man. Because you turn a cheek on your enemy, man, that's to spin you around and put a blade in your back. All right? It's not about that. But our own people, man, you know, I'm just saying, remember to have some mercy, man. Because the Lord's watching that as well, man. You know, the scriptures say um, charity covers a multitude of sins, man. All right, let's read this. I ain't going to make this too long. So, just a few you know, short scriptures just to get to the point. So, Proverbs 19 and 17 says, He that have pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, right? And that which he hath given, he will, repay, he will pay him again. It's good works. Bottom line is it's good works, man. There's nothing um, wrong or wicked or evil about you know, just looking out for them Jakes and who else is going to do it, man? No one else is going to do it. These devils, man, meaning these Edomites, they don't even give their own people money, man. So they ain't going to give us. They come, their people come to us. I've seen, we've been out on the streets plenty of times where you got, they might not always be Edomites, but Edomite looking, um, you know, homeless people. Asking us for money. Why? Because they know that our spirit is, is, we have a spirit of compassion. That's the reason, man. No, they know that in us. They know that. And one of the reasons they know that is because all the things that they've done to us, man, and we've really let them get away with it. And it's through the spirit of the Lord, of course, but they don't know that. They always, they always, they watch their back around us because they expect us to one day turn around you know, they're saying the worm is turned. Remember, the most high called Jacob a worm, man. You know, because we don't have any might in our hand. <clears throat> but they're worried about the worm turning, man. And you know, the worm, the worm that turned, it's, it's a coin. It's a phrase coined from, you know, the birds always getting that early. You no, know, the early bird catches the worm, man. But the worm turning on the bird, basically. You know, the the, the prey turning on the predator. So yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm rambling on a bit, but yeah, have that compassion, man, when you can, right?
Proverbs 14 say it talks about this, you know, the poor a lot. And we are the and we're the poor, um, you know, we're the, we're rich in spirit, man. Don't forget that, but poor in, in um, um tangible things on this earth, man, and and poor in um in might. <clears throat> Proverbs 14 and 31 says, He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him have have mercy on the poor. See, once again, this is, that's showing you that with the Most High is not dealing with those that are, you know, that, that are treading up, upon the, the, the necks of the poor, man. Down being, you know, they're the downtrodden, man. Right? And this ain't, like I said previously, I ain't talking about just anybody, man. Man, the spirit, the spirit will tell you, man. Right? I'm up. I'm up. I'm up for trying to help Jake out in his little ways. You know, you get them guys that come up to us and say, "Well, what are you doing for the community? Do you do this? Do you do this?" And it ain't about that, man. Because the real what we're doing for the community, yeah, is actually teaching them how to be saved, man. All right, that's the most important thing. Is this, is their salvation? Right, because they're not. There's nothing that we can do on this earth to to start raising Jake up. To in this world, all right. All we can do is teach them to come back, you know, to the heavenly Father. How about Shami or Shaiman? Right, that's what we're doing. All right, and it's a reasonable service, man. And it's a service, man. Remember, we're out there in the, in the elements and the highways and the byways, man. That's work. Right, doing these videos, that's work, man. Because a lot of these people that are saying, well, what are you doing for your community? They ain't doing anything anyway, man. So who are you to ask these questions, man? You don't understand that. You don't understand the importance of what we're doing. That's the difference. This is a very deep. And uh, this is the most important thing to know as an Israelite is, this, is these scriptures, man. This and <laughs> You could call this a charity, man. You know we don't get paid. We don't get paid to do this, man. All right. And that's not to say that um, we should get paid. And I don't. You know, don't. I don't, want, I don't want anyone taking that the wrong way. But I'm just saying we do this out of the fear of the Most High, right? <clears throat> and the belief, man. The faith, fear, and faith, and the promises. There's many reasons. Anyway, let's just get a couple more scriptures, man. I'm kind of. Rambling on a bit here. You know, Proverbs, man, there's some, you know, Proverbs, I like the Proverbs, man, because they're short, concise, to the point. Proverbs 29 and 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. And everywhere you go now, man, people are sleeping in doorways and, and all of that. And a lot of them now, you see, the, the, the curses are beginning to fall upon these heathens, man. Especially these Edomites, man. But we don't, it's, it's, not, it's not about them, man. I ain't talking about them, man. You know? Just, uh, this is just to show you that. You know, don't forget your compassion, man. Because this truth can make you... Um, I remember when I came into this truth, man. I was, you know, it hardened me, man. I'm not going to lie. It hardened me. That's not what I want. That hardened me, man. It hardened me. But then you start to understand... That you have to be... You have to discern certain things, man. Yeah... If you're not in the truth, you're inherently really you are wicked, man. Because you're not, you're not, you know, following after the laws, the statutes, the commandments. You're not worshiping the heavenly Father and, and the Son, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, all these things. But there's still levels, man. Because it's not for everyone to know anyway, man. <clears throat> it 
Ezekiel 22 says, The people of the land have, have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. It says, And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Therefore I have poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord Yahweh. So, you know, and uh, of all these scriptures, they come in twofold, man. So, there's lots of reasons why people fall into these situations. Of being like you know down and out, but for us as a people, it's because we're cursed, man. Cursed? Why? Because not following the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. You know, looks, but look, these. <laughs> the the beauty of, of it is that every Israelite man in the kingdom will 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 not have these problems anymore, man. You'll be uh. You'll be good, man. Obviously, there's always levels. There's always levels, right? Let's not forget that. That's why you have the elect. The elect are going to be on top. But as a as a nation of people, man, we're going to be above everybody else, man. Even the lowest of our people are going to be way, way above the heathens, man. All right. Yeah, this is a good one because it makes a good point. Anyway, this is another reason why you should um be careful sometimes, man. When someone, you know, remember the angels are watching and they're reporting, and the Lord puts tests upon you, man, to see what you're really about because He knows your heart anyway, but it's, He wants to see it. Hebrews 13 and 2 says, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Some of these guys, right, that you might come across are posing, man. They are angels in disguise, man. And they're testing you. All right? And not always, like, it depends how you do it, man. Like, I'll give you, an ex I'll give you two examples. Because look, I can give you three examples. I remember one time, camp had finished, and uh, Jake came up to me, and he asked me for some for some money, and I, I took my my wallet out because I had some in there at the time, and he asked me for, I think it was something like five pounds or something like that. So I pulled out the ten pounds. He said he was going to give me the the five pounds, and I gave him the ten pounds. And when I gave him the ten pounds. He didn't want to let. He didn't want to give me the five pounds. He wasn't being like a thief about it, but he was trying to change the, the um, the arrangement. And because he'd done it in a such a way, I didn't let him do that. You know, and he was lucky at the end of the day that I let him still have the five pound because of what he tried to do, right? But then there's another situation where. You know, there was a. a, 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 a an Israelite woman on the on the tube, you know, and she's asking everyone politely for some money. You can tell she's in a bad way. And I gave her some man. And um you know, she started telling me and it's a spiritual man. She started telling me how God loves me and all of this and I you know, and I was just listening to her and I said, Yeah, I know he does. Obviously, I don't know whether she's talking about the same God Yahweh or she's thinking of that that um, Edomite version, but it's all spiritual, man. So the point I'm making on that is, before I close that, is that you know sometimes these sometimes and that helps you discern because that guy who I first mentioned he didn't really deserve it, man. 
because he was trying he was trying to be um a bit treacherous there a bit tricky right So let you let the spirit guide you when it comes to. I'm not saying every time someone comes asking you for money, you gotta get your your wallet out or your purse out, whatever, whatever. But you know, don't don't be don't shy away from helping our. There's still our people at the end of the day. Anyway, <clears throat> just a little silly lesson. You know, I've all been there was some edification there. <coughs> um, and yeah, on that note, I'll give all praises on and glory to you. How about show me I was shy. Bahashim Rakaa Kudash. And uh, yeah. Shalom to the next one. Shalom.